In today's video, I'm going to teach Plex how to ignore you, or more specifically, tell you how to tell Plex to ignore stuff that you don't want it to see. Before I get any farther into this video, I do want to say that I do have Plex affiliate links in the description below. If you follow those links, they'll allow you to sign up for a free Plex account if you don't have one already. Of course, all Plex accounts are free, but if you do want some additional features, that's where the Plex Pass can come in handy. My most favorite feature of the Plex Pass is getting early access to new features released by Plex. And if you are thinking about buying a lifetime Plex Pass subscription, I would definitely appreciate it if you use my links below. It helps my channel grow, and I appreciate it. So links are in the description. Thank you very much. What's up YouTube, Jason here with Bite My Bits. And like I said, in today's video, I'm going to teach you a little bit about Plex Ignore. Now Plex Ignore is basically a specialized file that you can put in a directory, like let's say your TV shows directory, and you can tell it to ignore certain things. For TV shows, you can tell it to ignore specials directories, maybe extras that you don't want included in your Plex media server. You can also use it for images, music, etc. It's kind of up to you. In fact, there's a website that tells you all the different options that you can do within the Plex Ignore. But the main focus of this video is going to be mainly around how to do this in Windows. And the reason why this is even needed is because in Windows, it's a little bit more difficult to actually create a Plex Ignore file because Windows limits what you can rename a file to. In order to get Plex Ignore to work, it does have to be named .plexignore. But you can't do that in Windows. You need something before the dot. So you're kind of stuck. But fear not guys, that's where the command prompt comes into play. It's actually really simple. So to help walk you through this entire process, I went into my test media server that's running Windows 7. I created a new TV shows directory. I added a Star Trek, the original series to it. I used the dummy media file, which is basically a Simpsons trailer. I made three folders. One is the specials, the second is season one, and then of course season two, all of which have one episode each in them. And I let Plex scale scan it and add it, and as you would expect, it recognized three seasons, one being the special, and then of course the two other main seasons. Now hypothetically, if you did want to hide the specials and you were able to create this file easily, all you would have to do is follow the instructions on the Plex website, which will walk you through different ways to tell Plex to ignore certain things. Again, anything from specific file types, names, or folder names. Now keep in mind with Plex Ignore, you can put this on like the root directory of your TV shows or movies or whatever, and it would go into effect for every movie within. Or you can tell it to just ignore certain specials and certain TV shows main directories. For example, if I just wanted to ignore, you know, the Star Trek specials, but not the rest of them, then I would put it in that folder. But if I wanted to ignore all of my TV show specials, I would put it in the root TV shows folder. So moving forward, I have three seasons already on this Plex Media server, and I want to make the specials disappear. Here, but I don't actually want to delete the specials themselves. I'm in Windows, I'm gonna go in, check the file, make sure that the folders that I want to hide is included in the file itself, and then I'll save that file as .plexignore with something before the dot. In this particular instance, I'm using ignore.plexignore. Then all you have to do is go into the command prompt. So just go to start, search for CMD and hit enter. Once there, you wanna to navigate to the directory of which you have that Plex Ignore file in. In this instance, I have it C colon slash TV shows. So I'll change the directory, do a quick listing to make sure I'm in the right directory and I can see my file right here. Now I see my file and I know I have to rename it in order for Plex to recognize it as an active ignore file. To do this in the command line, simply type REN space the name of the file that you have currently, in my case, ignore.plexignore space and then dot plex ignore. Now before I had three seasons for Star Trek, the original series, if I go back and rescan it, all of a sudden, one of those seasons disappear. If I look a little bit deeper, I notice that the specials are now gone. And believe it or not, that's all you need to do. Again, take a look at the Plex website. If you have anything else you want Plex to ignore, you can specify folders, names, or extensions, etc. But this really brings a little bit more control onto your Plex media server, just in case you want to have more files than you want your actual Plex server to show. So if you have any questions or run into any problems, post in the comments below. I'd be more than happy to try to help you out. As always, guys, thank you for watching and have a good day.